Southern Standard. Well, last time we were at Sam's Town, there was a three-way no-limits match where he was victorious and catapulted him into the opportunity uh, that he has tonight. Well, that's not fair. You know, outstanding athlete, great win-loss record here in FSW. You know, I know you're not a big fan of the gymnastics that Brandon Gaffin brings to the table. What a, what a great win-loss record. What is, to, what, what is his win-loss record? Exactly. I don't know exactly. Okay. <laughs> well, then don't even just don't, show, talk, don't talk about his win-loss record. Two shows ago, before that, he defeated Brian Cage. A great win-loss record is like to me is it's like undefeated. You know that that's a great win-loss record because professional wrestling. You know, I mean, these guys wrestle so much on so different, so many different shows. You really don't know exactly what the win-loss record is. How do I know Bryce? How do you know that uh, Brandon Gadsden doesn't have like a Big losing streak in Northern California or something resting on the side. Well, first uh, off, show. Brandon Gatson has victories over Bryce Harrison here in FSW. When was that? Last year. When Last uh, year? Are you Bryce sure? Bryce Harrison was uh, managed by Heather Lynn. Oh, well, that was because he was managed by Heather Lynn. So, first he of all. He has defeated okay. Brian Cage. We are discounting Bryce Harrison's record from the time that he was with Scratch with the K and from the time that he spent with Heather Lynn. We're only accepting, I'm acknowledging his record since he's had the belt. Well, then it's pretty good. Yeah, really good, isn't it? Yes, that, that, now that's a great win-loss record. Undefeated would be the uh, way to describe it, wouldn't it? Actually, that's pretty correct. Yes. But this should be a great matchup. Uh, last year, one of the best matches we had in FSW was Bryce Harrison versus Brandon Gatson. And now we have a little goal to add to uh, these guys getting it on. Did Bryce Harrison dye his hair? I uh, think it's a little dark. It is a little dark. Darker huh? black than the uh, average black, I guess. It and there's, uh, and there's, Bryce. Bryce, there's, there's Brandon Gatz already threatening to use a closed fist for no reason whatsoever. You know, it's all about the no limits title. Brandon Gatz and getting a great opportunity tonight. And, a, you know, big matchup for Bryce Harrison. Let's see what he can do against some, uh, you know, top notch talent. You know, there's no doubt it's going to be a very fast-paced match. And, you know, no discrediting Bryce Harrison, outstanding athlete, but so is Brandon Gads. Ooh. Ooh. Big right hand. Yeah, one to disqualify him. What was the point of that? Well, I thought, I thought we were going to see a good, clean fight here. Brandon Garrison's coming out. Brandon Gass is coming out here. He's ready to fight like it's a barroom brawl, like it's like we're in the streets and we're playing the knockout game. Well, you know, if uh, he started doing some gymnastics moves, you'd be complaining about that. Now we nailed him with a uh, closed fist, and you're complaining about that too. Yeah, just fight fair. You know, Brandon Gatson has never been a guy that has been accused of dirty tactics. Just going for him. I'm accusing him right now. He just hit the guy with a with a straight closed right fist right to the jaw. I'm surprised if Bryce Harris is back up into the match. So you can say that that Brandon Harrison is being accused of Bryce dirty tactics. Uh, excuse me, Brandon Gatson is being uh, is being accused of dirty tactics, and rightfully so. Would you agree? And look at that rake of the eyes by Bryce Harris. Well, what comes around goes around. An eye for an eye. A reversal into the turnbuckle, nice back elbow, and a spinning Ouch. heel kick to the back of the head of Bryce Harrison, and he's down again. And look at that, the knee driving it into the midsection. One, two. But Bryce is able to kick out. See, but Burning Gassing just got lost there. You know, I mean, I mean let's, let's call spade a spade. You know, he had a pretty good offensive attack working. Uh, hit him with the big knee to the back. I mean, if it, if it was me, that was an effective move. I would have hit him with two or three more. Then he kind of like got lost in there and didn't really know what to do next. So he put the guy in a rear chin lock. Well, then he came back with a nice leg drop on Bryce Harris. But yeah, but look at he looks like he's lost. You know, like when something doesn't work, Brandon, Brandon Gatz's mind sort of slows down, like his brain function slows. He doesn't really know what to do next. Now, a guy like Bryce Harris is very intelligent and will be able to capitalize on it, I'm sure. And it looks like he hurt his knee. Oh, my God. Oh my God, what a jerk. Brandon Gatson threw him in so clumsily to the ropes, so unprofessionally that, that Bryce Harrison blew his knee out. I'm thinking Bra uh, Bryce Harrison feels he can't beat Brandon Gatson and he's trying to get lose by count out. What are you talking about? He tried to, Brandon Gatson haphazardly and recklessly tossed him around the ring. There's a certain code of honor we have going on in there and he hurt his knee. It looks like almost a tragic injury that uh, occurred to you. Uh, almost last year. Yeah, right like there. when those schmucks, uh, uh, Remy Marcel and those idiots, they screwed me up. 
Well, fortunately, the ref isn't counting. Brandon Gatson, I don't think he's buying it, Disco. Oh, look at this. Poke it to the eye. It's a miracle recovery, Joe. Sometimes yes. sometimes your uh, your knee, it can shift. You know, it's probably like a like a dislocated knee. He shoved it back into place, and look now he's fine. He, he's dancing. I, I, has he been working with you out at the Artisan, uh, doing some steps? I like that move right there. Look at that. Wow. Bryce Harrison uh, feels uh, he got himself uh, one up on Brandon Gatson, and right he sure now. did. You know, Brandon Gatson came out here with dirty, you know, dirty tricks and dirty tactics. So Bright Harrison out thunk him just like I said he would. Look at that! A kick to the side of the head as Gatson tried to get back in. One, two, and he kicks out before the two count. Not going to pin Brandon Gatson that easily. This guy. Look at this nice butterfly suplex by Bryce Harrison, who has put himself in control. What is this? Oh, oh, nice. The knees right to the face. One, two. That was very entertaining right there. Uh, innovative move by uh, Bryce. Some uh, odd charisma and personality that he is showing inside the ring. Why is it so odd? You know, I, I don't normally see him smile and dance around. He used to when he was a scratch with the K. Right, he couldn't stand it. Or couldn't stand scratch with the K. Still can't. Nope. Manager of champions. Whip it to the rope. Big miss. Whoa. What on earth was that? Momentum carried him all the way over. In midair, one, two. And it looked like the cross body by Bryce Harrison and Brandon Gatson. We're going to talk about his athleticism. Right there, he was able to turn it in midair. You got to be impressed with that disco in front of him. Uh, yeah, it was kind of like one of those goofy gymnastics. It was kind of a lucky move. You know, there was no max for him to do it. Well, look at this, he catches Bryce. And that always works, a good clothesline to the side of the head. And he slithers back, slithers like a snake. What's he gonna do here? Ooh, and a big running knee to the side of the head, doing some damage on Brandon Gatson. Brandon Gatson looks like he's he's Duffnerine over there. Outstanding matchup here for the No Limits title. One, two, two. but Gatson's still able to kick out. Look at the crowd getting behind Brandon Gatson. Yes. Surprising to me. I don't think the fans really know the better gymnastics background. I don't think they'd really support him if they do that. I believe uh, they love seeing Brandon Gatson. You know, sometimes he uh, disappears for a little bit at a time. Yeah. You know, doing other things. But right now he's... Uh, Where does he go? Well, he actually was out for a while. He had some uh, shoulder issues. Shoulder and, uh, issues? I've had shoulder the, issues for 10 years. That didn't, didn't stop me. Well, he decided to uh, clean it up, took some time off. Oh, what a big baby. You know, so he couldn't fight to the pain, could he? You know, a lot of years of uh, being in the business, uh, grinding it out, and he decided it was time for uh, sleep, sleep, get things sleep, fixed, sleep. and he's looking better than ever. What is he doing? He's choking him to death here for crying out loud. Come on, Rhett, that's a, that's a choke. We're in the sleeper hole. That's a choke. Obviously, the uh, ref is uh, probably going to be able to slide his hand under there. I don't believe it is a chokehold, Disco. What are you talking about? It's not a chokehold. Look at it. What are you, Brian? It's around the chin. It's a bit around the throat, Joe. Look, I can see his throat. There we go. What is this? But look at this. Brandon Jackson. He is able to land on his feet, but he's eating a few elbows. Oh, and look oh. at that kick to the face. He may have broke his nose. What's he doing now? Into his submission That's maneuver. a choke. That's another choke, Joe. This could be it. We could have a new No Limits champion, Brandon Gatson, coming to Sam's down. Break that hole, referee. That is a choke. As Bryce is fighting to get to the ropes, this could be it if he misses. Come on, ref. That's a choke. This is cheating. And look at that. Bryce is able to get his foot on the rope. Great combination. We've seen it before by Brandon Gatson. Almost walked out of here with the goal. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, Joe. You should know that. And look at this. Bryce is able to reverse nice. it into a suplex. What a great reversal by Bryce Harrison. Even though he was on Dream Street Disco, he was still able to pull something out. Yeah, and it's knocked them both out of here temporarily, it looks like. But Bryce Harris is back to his feet first, it looks like. He is a struggling. Point. What intestinal fortitude by Bryce Harris. Thumbs down. 
Bryce Harrison said it is all over. He is ready to finish off Brandon Gatson, and he is going to climb to the top rope. And we've all seen right. him nail this headbutt numerous times. No! But Brandon Gatson, look at the smirk on his face. It's obvious he was playing possum disco. Obviously, this is not fair. Oh, look at him, come on, ref. Big right hands and Brandon Gatson is catching fire. Look at this, make him stop that referee. Ridiculous. And the big right hand to the chin. And Bryce Harrison is in big trouble, look at this. Oh my God. Come on, Bryce. And he has got him up. And he twists him over. Wow, what a move, come on, Bryce. One, two, but only a two count. Bryce Harrison is able to kick out Brandon Gatson. And look at Bryce slither out of the ring, Disco Gather himself. Can't be pinned from the outside, but look at this. Oh, and he moves out of the way. Oh, I love that. We've seen Brandon Gatson do this numerous times, but obviously Bryce Harrison scouted him well. He still landed on his feet, but then ate the big boot. So what just happened right there? He turned into a gymnast, didn't he? Yes, he did. I went for some ridiculous high-risk gymnastics flipping maneuver over the top of it. What happened? Unfortunately, this time uh, he, he got failed. Caught. That's right, Joe. Yes, just goes to show you, like I said before, in, in, in fights, it doesn't make sense to do a high-risk move. You should put your opponents at risk when you put yourself at risk. And look at this, Bryce Harrison waiting for him. Missing with the clothesline, and look at this. Oh, the cutter from oh my the God. outside. And Brandon Gatson nails Bryce. This could be it. One, two, his foot's on the ropes. Unbelievable, Bryce Harrison was beat in the ring, but Brandon Gatson couldn't slide him in, and Bryce had just enough to reach over with his foot and save the No Limits title. And Brandon Gadsden, I don't think he can believe it. I thought he, he probably thought the match was gonna be over right there. And he's still looking around he's looking for around the crowd. The, he's looking through the crowd and well, well, what the hell should I do now? He's, he's lost, Joe. He's completely lost in there. And Bryce Harrison able to shove him into the midsection. Actually, those punches to the midsection didn't really look that good, did they? He didn't really have much left, Joe, but he's fighting all heart. Not a lot of gas left in the tank from either guy. They are putting it all out as Bryce is on the top rope. Oh, going for the Hurricane Rana, but he slides off. Because Brandon Gatson held onto the ropes. That was a pretty smart move. And he's going for the elbow. And he look missed at this. It. And Bryce moves out of the way. The cover, one, two, foot on the ropes. Oh, a what a smart count. move. What a smart move by Bryce Harrison. Both guys were pretty gassed, and Bryce Harrison was able to make sure Brandon Gatson didn't catch, 